hi guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to be showing you how i like um maintain my short pixie cut like my easy like five minute hairstyle that i do when i don't feel like like really doing my hair because as you know i am extremely lazy when it comes to things so if you want to know how i do it you know cute styles that you can do on your own when you're in between you know meeting with your stylist things of that nature then you know just keep on watching <laughs> all right guys so um my hair was just washed like a week ago um i just got it relaxed about two two to three weeks ago yeah because it's every two weeks so it's been like three weeks since the relaxer has been put in and this is what we look like so when I have extra time on my... Well, first of all, I'm just, like, combing it out because it feels good. <laughs> so, uh, when I have extra time on my hands in the morning, which I usually don't because my relationship with sleep is amazing. So, when I have extra, you know, time or I just want to be super cute, I will finger wave it. Just, like, really, really basic finger wave. And I don't think you finna come here and see no, you know, fucking... Pacific Ocean way is because that's not what it is, baby. That's that's not that's not I, I can't <laughs> I cannot. So let me just make that very much so clear. That is not what we doing. So I go in with the Dugro Mega Thick Hair Oil morning and night, and I just take it around my edges. Um, uh, just because my edges are a little bit thin because I got braids like a couple months ago and it broke my shit off. So. They coming back slowly but surely, but this is just like what I do. Just a little of that through there. Like I said, morning and night, that's just like what I do. Any kind of hair oil, honestly, I'll use it. <laughs> Kaleidoscope drops, whatever. Whatever I have handy, honestly. Like, yeah, girl. I was just going to comb that through. Yeah. Is, yeah, don't forget to come and pick up y'all. I don't care about that for that part. Of that. <laughs> so, yeah, um, I massage that through there. All right, so, like I said, these not been finna be the best finger waves you're gonna ever see. And honestly, I never finger wave my whole head because, bitch, I be tired. <laughs> like, so, I'm gonna just do a little bit on the side. And then when I do that, I just like swoop this whole side over here, like a big old swoop like that. And then I just do a little swoop over here. Or I just do some baby hairs and I just slick the rest of the hair down. Like, honestly, it just depends on how I am feeling. So, we're gonna start off with a nice little part. I like deep parts. I like deep curvy looking parts but that's just me you can you can do this however you please and i've been liking my part on this side because you know i got another piercing which that'll be in another video i cannot wait to tell y'all about it like oh cannot wait to talk about it but it was actually that video was actually supposed to be up today but i was like nah we need to wait till we post it but then again it was like um then i was like erica you didn't you don't even have anything to post so you've been in such a rut so we're not even gonna I didn't even have a video up today. So, sorry about that. I can't see shit. I normally do this in the bathroom where my lights are, like, brighter. I can't see shit. <laughs> I can't see. Okay, so hopefully this is this part is starting to look like something. I take it from, like, this, like, the start of my brow right here. And this is usually... I literally just put a line on my face. Yeah. Something like that. Itch, 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 itch. Okay. So I'm taking my Nairobi Rapid Shine Foam Wrap Lotion. <laughs> and I'm just going to pump some of that. Like this. So, I'm just saturating this side where you're starting at. I'm going to put a little bit on this side, too, just to, like, tame it. <coughs> um, make sure nothing's, like, in my way. And wipe the excess off. Keep a towel around you um, so you can do this. Okay. So, you want to go ahead, get it through the hair. You want to have enough so that you can play with and maneuver it about how you need to. 
Now, like I said, I normally has just been like swooping this bag on like my tired days. So I would go like this and then just do my edges like that. Um, but we're not doing that today because I ain't got nothing else to do. So I might as well, you know, put a little extra time on myself. Cause you already know, you know how that shit goes. All right. So once you got it down, you want to go ahead and start swooping it where you want your first direction of your um waves to go. So typically, depending on what side you're on, since this is my um left side, I'm taking it forward. So you would want to go ahead and start to swoop the hair forward. This is the first step, the easiest wave. If you were starting on the you if your part was over here on the right side, you would want to start your wave like this. So you'll be combing like backwards in this direction versus me combing forward. So that's why I'm doing it this way from the left. But you can do it either way that you want to. This is just how I'm doing mine. God, I am itchy. You can use gel, you can use foam, you can use gel and foam if your hair is natural and it won't just lay with the foam on its own. So yeah, it really is just a preference, but since my hair is relaxed, the foam is more than enough. So I'm just going ahead, creating my first C shape. To create that shape, you just want to literally just draw a C. This is the easiest one to do. So it's kind of hard to explain as, I, as I'm drawing it. So you want to go ahead, grab the hair begin to swoop and then put your finger down as you swoop back for your second wave okay that way as your finger is here and you're holding this part as you get ready to come out you're gonna put your finger here and comb forward for your next wave that's how you get those zoo, 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 like a big old s does that make sense so you have to hold the other side down for you to be able to move on to your next side and i feel like that's where people get confused at sometimes um so once you get this side done, you want to, once you get your first, once you take your comb and you go down, put your comb here, put your finger right here on top of your comb, take your comb, push it backwards. Okay. Just like that. That's going to give you this first swoop, this first wave or whatever. Okay. Whatever you want to call it. So then once you got that line right here, it should look something like that. And then you take your finger down you want to rest it right underneath that line that you just made rest it right here so you can go back in and make a forward swoop so this one's going to go like this see that backwards forwards backwards forwards and you just keep on going and you know it takes a little time learning the best ways what works for you what products best work for your hair it do make you tired because, you know, you want them to look good or whatever. That's why I don't do this every day. I ain't even going to lie to you. I don't see him wave my hair every day because I, I just, my head go to hurt. <laughs> my head hurt right now because I'm so tired. Hey, different way. It's been, it's been, what, three minutes? It's been three minutes of waving. Let me tell you right now, I am already tired. So don't feel discouraged. It's a process, but you just keep going with it. You're going to get tired. But it's okay. But it look good after the fact. I ain't gonna lie. Now you be feeling yourself. You got some waves in your head. Like that's that's why that's why niggas be acting like that when they take that little do rag off. I absolutely positively get it. Like, oh my god, I got some shit in my eyebrow. But yeah. Can't do that. Face got to be on 10. That's another thing. Your face got to be on 10 when you got um short hair. And you know, um, you got your waves on, gotta be on 10, sis. You gotta put a little lash, a little bra, a little gloss on. You gotta do a little something. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. So now we're taking it outwards. We're bringing it forward. And then you just want to swoop it down and go back. I can't see now. Wait a damn minute. Like that. So yeah, um, you basically just want to keep playing around with it just a little bit until you get it to, uh, you know, about what you like. That's like the really good thing with short hair, though. You can just like, really, really you can do anything. Like, because you just really just got to play with it until you get it to where you want it to be. So, you know, 
it's not gonna look the same every single day you know no matter how much you do it it'll never look the same every well i don't know it might i let me just stop speaking on what, what's that happening to me i ain't never got my head look the exact same every single day it's similar it's very similar but it don't look the same every single day so when i get to the back of my head i just take the foam and it depends on how i do my size so since i'm not doing like real finger waves i just showed y'all like a method of doing finger waves but i i can't i because <laughs> like if i do finger waves i at least want this other side finger wave and i and i look and I, I don't really i really don't have time for that so i just like swoop it it's like a partial wave so it's only like two waves if that makes sense like one complete wave and then i just flip the rest of it out to like frame my face a little bit um Um, yeah, so it looks like that. I don't know if you can see it through the phone, but you'll see in a second when it dries. So I basically just do this in the back of my head. So I don't know if you can. You see? So I basically just take the foam, wherever it is, and I just get at it. Does that make sense? <laughs> Hopefully y'all can see that. Hopefully this didn't see back of my fat neck but <laughs> i just got it that, so that's all i can do in the back of my head i can't i'm not talented enough to do all that other shit in the back of my head because i just i'm i just be tired <laughs> my arms get tired so i'm just doing like big wave motions in the back just to connect my whole head that way you know it's just not bone straight although some days if i'm running real late i will just do a bone straight but i try to do a little I try to throw a little curve back there for the for the people to see me behind me in the grocery store. Mm -hmm. I like that. So when it comes to the center of my head, like I said, I just do this. Did you see that? I start here, bring it forward, take it back. That's all I got. That is all I have. And that phone, that gel gonna be your best freaking friend. You know, um, if you're using gel, I recommend Eco Gel. That's just like my gel of preference if I had to use gel. Um, yeah, I don't know another gel that does what Eco Gel does. And it's affordable. So you can get a, a big ass tub of Eco Gel. I think I have some. Yeah, big ass jug of eco gel for like ten dollars for this huge. It's like a gallon. No, five pounds. I don't know how much is in a gallon, but ten dollars if you need some gel. At the beauty supply, this foam wrap is also like ten, eight dollars, eight nine dollars. Um, ten dollars at if you go to like a real bougie hair store. But if you pay anything other than ten dollars, run because since you being robbed, so you know. But most places it's like nine dollars. $8.99, So we're just going to keep swooping. And I basically just swoop it until I get to this side of the face. Well, this side, the opposite side of your head that you start on. And you just, I just swoop that backwards as well. And... You just keep going until it all connects, basically. Basically. So, this is basically just like one giant finger wave versus a bunch of little waves. And this, like how I'm doing it, this will work on like any length of short hair. Because it's not, you know, like crazy precise. And there's also not as many waves and ridges. So, yeah. So you keep going until you get it flat enough to your liking and you can wrap it or you can let it air dry. I suggest you, if you're, if your hair is not relaxed and it's natural, I suggest wrapping it. Otherwise all this hard work is for nothing. 
So, you know. Really just do what you feel. I mean, short hair, that's like the beauty of short hair is so low maintenance. Well, I don't want to say low maintenance because, you know, you still have to, like, you know, do something with yourself. But in other ways, you know, like I make sure I have, like, super big earrings in, a little extra powder on the lip, extra flirty, wispy lashes. Um, You know, just other, you, you, you have to maintain it other ways. You know what I mean? Like. But as for like your hair, it's it's really you can't really mess it up. Cause you can easily just make it look like that's how it's supposed to look. And who gonna say something to you? Who? Who gonna say something? So you just wanna So it look like this. So I just like to like um play with my size a little bit. You know, it just gives a little extra edge. A little extra edge to it. You know what I'm saying? Put a little bit right there. I'm gonna just take that little piece. Don't come for me now. I ain't got no big ass long edges or whatever, but it's just enough. You know, just, just a little piece. Just a little shoe. Like that. And then I just like to make sure like the hairs um in the back just you know put a little extra foam on them. Make sure like oh I got foam all on my titties. Mm. 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 Like I like having plenty of foam on it because I just yeah, yeah it's gonna move better if you have like more foam or gel or whatever. So yeah, if you have natural hair, you can do it wet. Um. You know, but yeah, guys, this is pretty much it. I can't even see what's in the back of my head, but I know it's some swoops. So, like, as long as you keep doing uh, your hand like this, you fine. You are fine. Let's start a new trend. Who cares? <laughs> Who cares? So, you know, guys, this is just, like, really cute, low-maintenance hairstyles for your short pixie. Especially if you don't feel like, you know, putting tracks in it right now to give all the extra body and everything. You just want a really cute flat layer, nice little flat mold or whatever. Just something really cute and simple without, you know, always having to feel like you gotta... Like, if you don't have, like, those crisp-ass waves, you ain't gonna be cute. Which is so far from not the case, because, you know, it's a lot going on in the world right now. And you need that sleep. That be that's my excuse not doing my waves. I don't know what y'all excuse is, but a bitch be tired. I ain't I'm not finna finger wave my whole hair. But anyway, guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Um, I'm gonna let it just air dry, or you can just take a do rag and tie down on it. But I'm not putting that do rag on because I ain't got nothing to do. But <laughs> yeah, you can put a do rag on while you finish your routine, or you know, um, let it air dry like me and just be cute. Go ahead on about your day. Bitch, you did then cute five ten minutes and you out the door. If if even that, because if you do this at the night before and you put then you tied up, girl, wake up, brush your teeth, take a quick shower, bitch, you out the door. <laughs> Y'all know it's summertime. Anyway, guys, thank you for tuning into this video, and I will see you in my next one. Don't forget to come and pick up your phone. Go straight to YouTube, tap on my channel, and hit that subscribe. Oh, don't forget the bell. Like and comment as well. Woo